Hi, on this video, I'm going to talk about UI automation for testing. It is useful to automate the UI testing for business application to catch regression. First, we are going to download the test API library from Coplex. I'm one of the contributors for this project. We are going to use the input injection API for the UI automation. And then we are going to download the UI spy executable. You can go to this link to download the UI spy. And I'm going to post this, post this link on the YouTube detail section. Let's create a test project. Let's add the reference. This is the DLL that we download from the uh, Coplex test API. Test API called .dll. And then we are going to add UI automation client provider and type. And then we are going to add join. window space and then we need to add couple helper here is some native method uh, such as set foreground window because for the UI automation we want to set the test window to the foreground first before we perform uh, mouse or key input This is the mouse input uh, class. Basically, it's a wrapper on top of the test API injection input API. Uh, on this class, we have click method that takes the automation element and by default use the left mouse button. The location is use the clickable point. And then here we do some math to get the center point of the element. And then move the mouse to the to that point and then perform mouse click on that mouse button. Double click. We have move to top left because uh, there's some scenario we want to we don't want to mouse over the test application. That's why we want to move away the mouse cursor. Now we are going to add wild data. This is a UI automation validator base class. It enables 
our process testing by using automation element to remote access the UI automation element in the application so we can perform testing for a different scenario such as mouse click on a button in the constructor here uh, we are starting the process and then we pass in the process info for example notepad or calculator and then we wait here uh, we add the event handler for the windows open event and then we pass in a delegate the on window open delegate to listen for the windows open event and basically this code it will get involved when the window is open because we want to get the main window handle when the window is ready uh, we call that rule element and then we call the native method set foreground window to move the window to the front and then we uh, do the start set so the code can continue and then on the disposal we just have some cleanup that we need to do next let's add uh, calculate the mouse input test bar data that derived from the UI automation bar data okay before we go to this code I would like to show you a little bit how we can use the UI spy to get all this UI automation ID okay we launch the UI spy we control click on the text box here the read only text here and here is the automation ID which is the calculation text box automation ID 150 we do the same to find button 9, button 1, subtract, and equal. The testing here is we want to click on the button 9 and then click on the subtract button and click on the button 1 and then click on the equal button. And then the result should equal A. And here is where we find the a button by using the automation ID and verify is display A here is the helper for uh, click button okay we can close the UI spy And then we are going to add another one call cal keyboard input test model data that derive your automation model data. This one we do the same thing by using your spy to find the automation ID 150. Uh, for the calculator application 
and then we are doing the keyboard input type D9 means 9 and then subtract 1 enter and then verify is equal 8 okay let's close the calculator too let's compile it and then run this test project to see how the UI automation runs oh wait uh, we need to add some test code mm. here in the test code we are pass app name called cal.exe and in, in here we are calling the keyboard input test validator by and then passing a uh, processor start info with the app name and then call run okay now let's run the application As you can see, the mouse was moved to click on the buttons. And here is the test result. Thanks a lot for watching the video.